What is going on guys, Name is here today. A lot of Call of Duty stuff was announced, a lot of roster stuff has been going on, and I'm here to update you guys and catch you up to speed on what's going on. So, I'm gonna go right into it. Basically, myself, Rick, and Mir are looking for one player going to the Black Ops 3. We're looking for a player. What went into that decision was basically we feel like we're all very talented players and we wanted to change going into the new game. We feel like if we get another talented, you know, sub player who's positive, very dedicated, and just um, driven to win, we'll be a lot better team. Um, I think we have the potential to be the best team in the game. And going into Black Ops, this is all of our strong suits. So it should pan out good for us if we could find that right fourth. Um, we're trying a few people. Um, talking to a few people can't say any names yet unfortunately but um, we have a lot of good things in the works and I think you guys will be satisfied for the Ant Army out there the Nameless fans and the Mir and Ricky fans um, I hope you guys are satisfied with what with who we pick up and what goes down with that but anyways like I said we're looking out for ourselves um, this year is gonna be a lot different and I think that with the right fourth we'll be a very strong team I want to say thank you to Optic Nation and Hex and Embos and everybody on Optic for allowing me to play for them under the Optic name at Worlds. It was a great experience. They're all great people, and I really appreciate the support. I know me and Ricky were on that team for a few years, so they probably have a lot more to say about it than I do. But um, uh, we're all very happy to have been playing under that org, and it was awesome. And good luck to them. I hope Bose can find a team that uh, you know supports him and that he's really happy to play with, and I hope it all works out for them. We will also be looking for an organization to represent. Um, obviously, there will be a lot of new orgs coming into Call of Duty with all the announcements that were just made. There's a lot of money to be made, not only by the players, but by the organizations. With more money, bigger tournaments, and more publicity, that means there's going to be more tournaments, more sponsors, and there's just going to be a lot more money, cash flow to be going around that's going to be spread out around the organizations, the players, the owners, and stuff like that. So, going into this new game, you're going to see a lot of new people coming into the scene, and I believe we're a high profile team so hopefully a good org hits us up that you know can you know meet our demands and stuff like that because we're not going to sell ourselves short anymore hopefully we can find a good org to represent because we're going to put in work and i want the org that we play for to put in just as much work as us so i think it's going to be an awesome year and if there are any organizations that are watching this video go ahead and send me an email to my business email i'll put a link to it in the description below now moving on to the call of duty stream today they showed a bunch of new maps um they showed uh, a bunch of new guns and new stuff like that. Um, you've seen uh, how the Razorback and stuff and MAR with the new um, patch that they put into the game, they nerfed those so it looks a lot more balanced. The ban and protect system, we got to see it in a little uh, more complex way. Uh, people are banning certain things. Um, it just looks like a really awesome game. It looks like a ton of fun. Um, a couple things I took away for, from it were the maps were like really good, uh, surprisingly. Like watching the maps out of the box, they looked really good. Um, normally when I watch a game, I can't really put my finger on like if it's a good map or not, but they looked really good. The hard points looked like they were in good condensed areas not too many entrances and uh it looked like the spawns were decent i was really um not that into it when i was watching i was kind of you know doing a couple other things while watching but from what i can tell it looks really good uplink looks awesome and yeah so that was really cool to watch the europeans actually beat the na team three to two map count so that was pretty crazy and um it was just awesome to watch black ops 3 looks like a black uh they announced a lot of new maps they announced all the league details well not all the league details most of them um there's a european stage an na stage and an australian stage um na is 250k uh european is 200k and australia is 150k so right there that's a ton of money in call of duty and i i'm excited to see if the eu and australian scenes blow up because of this amount of money that's being poured into it i think you'll see a lot of new players excuse me, in those two regions, and I think it'll expand a lot. There's 12 teams in the NA, 10 teams in the EU, and eight teams in the Australian League. So I'll put a link to all that in the description below. If you guys want to be updated by that stuff, you can check out Activision's blog. They keep that updated timely on all their information. I'm sure they'll update us on more stuff to come. But yeah, so basically that's our plans going to the Black Ops. So you just kind of want to give you guys an announcement video that me, Mir, and Rick are looking for one. We're also looking for an organization. Like I said, should be a great year for us if we can perform the way I believe we can. Thank you guys for watching. Support to the Green Wall people who came to my channel these last few weeks. And to those of you who have been a part of the Don Squad, thank you guys for supporting me. You guys are the homies. And if you did like this video, please leave a like comment and subscribe black ops 3 tip videos i'm going to try to bring those to my channel along with the warrior videos because theater is back and as always peace